Hey guys, Steve Harris here with Museums.com. Today we're looking at Sidebar Connect. Sidebar Connect is a revolutionary new widget. It allows you to build multi-level navigation systems in this kind of tasteful sidebar menu. You can build an unlimited number of links into the widget. And the best part of it all is that your clients can update and edit this menu on the fly without ever opening Muse. So how does this all work? The challenging part about building a menu like this in Muse today is working within small widget panels. If we could create a widget that allowed you to do this, you'd be limited to a specific number of links and it's just really difficult to do. That's what makes our Connect series of widgets so unique. These widgets are actually powered by spreadsheets or to be more specific, CSV files. The coolest part about the Connect series is that these spreadsheets can be online spreadsheets that you can edit and they will be instantly updated on the site. So let me show you what I mean. On the first level of this navigation system, we have this link that says RT. If I navigate to a online spreadsheet, this is a Google Sheets document, you can see that in this first column it says RT. That's our navigation text. If I was to change this to About Us, and then I could change the link that goes with it. Let's just say now we want this to go to pages slash about, just like that. And the target, we want to be a brand new window or a blank window. Now, the second I click off of those cells, these are instantly published. And if I just refresh my Sidebar Connect demo here, and I click on the navigation icon in the top left, you can see that that text is now about us. And if I click on it, it opens this link in a new window. So you can see how powerful this system is. You can build absolutely massive menus with this. The only thing you need to do is work within the spreadsheet and the guidelines that we've given you. Aside from being an awesome desktop navigation system, you'll see if I shrink the browser down here and I launch my menu, it actually changes to a drop down menu. So you can build a really tasteful mobile navigation system using this widget as well. So let me get this all started. I'm gonna split this video up into two sections. One will be focused on building out the spreadsheet and working with that, and the other will be styling the widget. So to get started, let's just jump into Muse, and I'm going to create a blank site here. And let me just drag the widget out from the panel. Okay, so now that the widget's on the canvas, I'll open up the flyout menu, and let's look at options. The first options we have are to enter a menu ID, and this is just if you're going to use multiple menus on a single page. But for now, we want one, so let's just leave this ID as it is. The next section asks you, how do you want to load this content? You can load a local CSV file, so if we have one on our desktop or somewhere on our computer that we want to add, or we can change this to a Google spreadsheet. And all we need to do is enter in our Google spreadsheet key. Now, if you want your clients to be able to make remote edits to this navigation, you're probably going to want to use the Google spreadsheet. If you do decide to use the local CSV file, we have provided a sample CSV file within the download package, and you can just open this with Excel and make the edits as needed. It just looks like this. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use the Google Spreadsheet version because I think that version works better and gives you a lot more power. So in the second video, I'll run through all of the menu panel options here below, but initially, let's get our spreadsheet set up. So you notice on this panel at the bottom, there is a link here. It says Google Sheets Menu Template. And if I click that link, it opens up our Google Sheets template. Now, if you don't have a Google Docs account, you can set it up for free, of course. It uses your Google ID. And then you have access to this template. This template is set to view only. So in order to use it, what you'll need to do is click File and Make a Copy. So when we do that, it gives us the option to make a copy. And let's just call this Sample Sidebar Demo. And the folder can be any folder you want and click OK. So now it creates a fresh copy of that spreadsheet and now you can begin editing the spreadsheet. Before I go ahead and change this whole spreadsheet and show you how to set it up, I'm actually gonna link it up to my Muse panel. And I wanna cover this at the beginning because it's really important that you see how to link it up. So if you notice in the Muse panel, it says here on the CSV file type, we'll go Google Spreadsheet and then we need to enter in a key. 
And the key on a Google spreadsheet is actually up in the URL bar. But before we enter that, we need to change a simple setting. We need to go up to File, and then click Publish to the Web. When we click that, it brings up this option box that asks us how we want to publish it. So we're going to publish the entire document, and instead of a web page, we're going to publish this as a CSV file, just like that. Lastly, there's some settings below that you don't need to change, but basically down here it says automatically republish when changes are made. You want that to be set. That means your changes are going to be reflected on your site instantly. So when we're good to go here, we just click publish and yes. Okay, and so it gives us a giant link that we can copy here. I'm not gonna copy it from this section. I'm gonna close this window and I'm gonna copy it from up here in the URL bar. So basically, it just lines up between these two forward slashes and that's your spreadsheet key right there. So if I jump back into Muse and I just drop my spreadsheet key in this section, there you go. Now our spreadsheet is linked up. So if I click preview in browser here, just with the default settings, you can see there's our menu and everything's working really well. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet we used to build this and I'll show you what all the specific options mean. So looking at the first column, we have the text that we want displayed in the navigation system. So this is obvious, uh, you can write anything you want in there. Next up, we have the navigation level. So if something is on the main nav, it's level one. If it's in a sub menu, it's on level two and so forth. So if I look at the demo here, this is level one, this is level two, and this is level three. So just work through sequentially and first define which level this is going to be on. The next item you need is the menu ID. Each item on your menu has to have a unique ID. So we can just start with simple IDs like one, two, and three on our first level items. But when we get to items that are sub menus, we need to specify that those are child menus. So as you can see here, we have suddenly 3C1, 3C2. Basically those menu IDs mean that they are children of menu ID number three. So three and then child one, three, child two. The items below that are yet again children of a submenu. So in this case, of course, we have they are children of the third submenu of the third menu ID. So it sounds confusing when you explain it like that, but when you work through it sequentially, you'll actually find it's really easy. And if you use this spreadsheet as a base, I guarantee you won't have any problems. The next column you need to look at is just the parent ID. This just helps link all the menus together. So if an item is on the first level of navigation, it doesn't have a parent. So the parent ID is zero. Then below that we have which parent ID are we going to make sure that these three are on. So basically what you're doing is you're putting in the menu ID of whichever menu this parent is. So these ones are the sub menu of the third menu ID. So in this case, their parent is number three. It continues on down the list just like that. The next column we have is for using Font Awesome icons. So Font Awesome is a great font icon library on the web and you can pull any icon you want into this menu. So if you actually look at the bottom of the widget panel in Muse, there's a link here to the Font Awesome icon library. And if we click on that, it brings up this site and it gives you this kind of breakdown of every single icon that's available. If I click on one of them, let's click on this paper airplane you'll see it gives you a name and it's in this case fa-paper-plane-o. So this is what we're going to use as that icon name. So I'll set up a fresh one. Let me just finish running through the spreadsheet. So those are our font awesome icons. Next we have the URL. So this is where you want the link to go. And in the last column we have the target. So the target means do you want the link to open up in its own window or in the window that you're currently using. So self means your current window. Blank means a brand new window. So let's go ahead and set up a new menu item here. Now one thing I wanna say is you need to be really careful with copying and pasting in these menus. Personally, I think it's better if you just type out everything that you wanna do on the menu. So what I'm going to do is add another sub menu item to our services. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm just gonna add a space in there. I'm actually gonna drag these items below down just like that, so we have kind of a gap. Now the ordering in here doesn't matter. It's based on the level and the menu and parent IDs, but I just like having them together because it looks a little bit cleaner. 
So we're going to add a service. Let's call it illustration. Okay. It's going to be a second level item. Now it needs its own menu ID. So in this case, we're going to make it a child of menu three. So it's going to be 3C4. And the parent ID on this is it's the third. Okay, next up we have the menu icon. So I'm going to use this FA-paper-plane-o. So I'm going to type that in. FA-paper-plane-o. Okay, now our link, let's just have this go to Google. Okay, and then where do we want it to go? Well, let's have it go. I'll just drag this down and duplicate it. Let's have it go to a blank window, just like that. Okay, so now that I've added that and I've clicked off, it says all changes are saved. I should be able to go back to my demo and refresh it. And when I do that, and I click on the menu, we can see we have services and there's our illustration option. And if I click on that, it opens in a new window and it's to google.com. So that is an example of how to edit the spreadsheet. Pretty slick, your clients can edit it easily just by doing that. No need to republish instantly live on the site. So you can see how powerful this system is. So now that we've covered working in the spreadsheet, let me jump into Muse in another video and we'll run through all of the style option settings for this widget. Thanks again for watching.